and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food. Here's something you don't see every day. A big, thick bacon sandwich and a cup of soup. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I've had people tell me they can't eat bacon anymore with their dentures. And you have to ask yourself, is it true that you can't eat bacon or are you simply trying to eat bacon the way you've always eaten bacon or cooking bacon the way you've always cooked it? Because in some cases you may need to cook your bacon a little softer, a little more chewy, and in other cases you may need to cook your bacon a little more crispy to make it easier to eat. But I've revised how I cook my bacon. My bacon has to be a little more crispy now because it's easier to bite through. If it's, I mean, I can bite through the softer bacon, the rubberier bacon, more rubbery, more the the, <laughs> the more rubbery bacon, but a lot of people can't. So if you make it crispier, then when you bite into it, it breaks apart, it makes it much easier to bite into and chew up. So, sometimes I just like a nice bacon sandwich and a bowl of soup. Oh, good stuff, I'm telling you. And again, I took a bite before I showed you. Nothing in the bottom denture. Nothing in the top. Now, this looks like a lot of bacon, but in all actuality, it's only four strips. Four actual strips of bacon, but they're cut in smaller pieces to be put on the sandwich. Mm. And no, it's not real easy for me to bite through that thick of bacon, that much bacon. But man, I love my bacon. That was almost too big of a bite. It was extremely cold this morning and raining. And it's still cold. sunshine through the window a little bit but it's still black as coal out there it's gonna rain some more I love me a 
I love a good bowl of soup and a sandwich. You'll notice I'm kind of half tearing it. Some of my bacon isn't cooked quite as good as I would have liked, but when you have a glycemic and you start shaking, you need to get something in your system right now. So I felt it coming on, and I thought I had plenty of time, but some of the pieces didn't quite get cooked as good as I would have liked. <clears throat> For a sandwich. The crispier you make the bacon, the easier it breaks apart while you're biting through it. So it makes it much easier to bite through. People think I'm weird because I just like a bacon sandwich. Bacon and cheese and mayonnaise, that's it. I guess, I guess you could call me a bacon slob because I love bacon. There was a thing going around asking you if you had to eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? And the choices were fruits, vegetables, dairy, chicken and eggs, beef, or pork. So I selected pork. And then it asks you to give your reason why. So I looked it up on the internet, all the nutrients, all the micronutrients that are in bacon. And I copied and pasted that into the comments and I said, that's just the bacon. Plus, all the proteins and the... Uh, all the other stuff you get from the rest of the pig, the pork. So, you should look it up micronutrients in bacon.
I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to shock you. Bacon alone has more micronutrients in it than any other meat source out there. So that would be the first reason if it boiled down to it and they said, well, you can only choose one item from that animal from pork, it would be bacon. Now, I love me a good thick cut pork chop and I love me a back strap and stuff like that, but I would use my logic. Yes, I love bacon. And if you had to eat it every day for the rest of your life, you'd probably get sick of it. But it would sustain you. So, that would be a beautiful thing. Bacon on this side is much crispier. Easier to bite through. two pieces right in the middle it didn't get cooked as much as I'd like oops and that's okay See how much easier it is to bite through when it's crispy? I guess that's a good lesson. Not getting a couple pieces cooked all the way like I like. just inadvertently helped me show you the difference between how easy it is to bite through crispy bacon versus chewy bacon. Believe me, that was not the plan. Well, now that I pulled the chewy bacon out of the sandwich, so I have it layered like this. Two, 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 two. two. The chewy bacon was right here in the middle. Mm. Oh. I'm glad you liked the video 
of uh, sharing a meal with my nephew, my grandnephew. He was pretty excited to sit there and read the comments with me. He's a good kid. Of course, he has his struggles, just like any kid his age will. Relatively speaking, though, he's a good kid. And I don't mind sharing a meal with the boy. He's going through some issues with his teeth. And hopefully, I say hopefully, he'll take care of his teeth and won't end up like us. So at first I was struggling with this sandwich because of those two chewy pieces of bacon in the middle. Apparently there's a chewy piece on this side too. Mm. You don't have to make it as thick as this. You can start off with just two strips on a bun. Cook them crispy. The next time, put two this way and two this way. Put two this way, two this way. Layer it. Or three if you have to, to cover the bun. Mine only, my, I got really thick, fat bacon. Only requires two pieces to cover the bun. And I do it that way. I have two, 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 two. So there's five layers of bacon. But my bacon's like that long. So I cut it in thirds. So even though it's only ten pieces on the Ten little pieces on the sandwich. I took four strips of bacon, cut them in thirds, that gave me twelve pieces of bacon. Ten went on the sandwich and I ate the other two before I started the video. <laughs> I'm guessing I should have ate the chewy bacon instead of the crispy bacon. That probably would have been better. But that mistake allowed me to show you the difference. I was struggling to bite through the sandwich with those two chewy pieces of bacon in the middle. And once I pulled those out of the sandwich and just ate them, the rest of the sandwich was relatively easy. So I'm a little bit strange. I like my bacon to be nice and crispy on a sandwich. Makes it much easier to bite through. But if I'm eating bacon with eggs, I like it to be a little more pliable. Because I'm eating one piece at a time. One piece of chewy bacon is easy to bite through. When you have a whole stack of bacon, on the other hand, that's a different story.
Mm. You've seen these. Carry these on the bike when I'm going out working. Not every day. Sometimes I want to stop and get something to eat and make a video for you guys. Sometimes I want to come home and make a video. Sometimes I'm stuck at home. Again with the cheese. People still complaining that they can't eat cheese like this. Don't chew down till your teeth touch. It'll create a vacuum between your molars and you'll suck that bottom denture right off your bottom jaw. We have this tendency to think that if our teeth aren't touching together, we're not mulching up, mulching up our food good enough. Yes, you are. Got a little pepper in that bottom denture. All the pepper settles in the bottom of this beef stew. Yeah, I did put pepper in it. Well, I hope you learned something. <laughs> that was delicious. Somebody had mentioned they don't see me drink a lot when I'm eating. And when I first got my dentures, every other bite I was taking a drink. Every other bite I was rinsing. Um, I was using adhesive back then, so I couldn't lift the bottom denture and rinse under it, but I could rinse around it. So it used to drive me nuts when a little piece of food would get stuck over here beside the denture or stuck up here beside the denture, I'd, I'd stop everything to get that food out from between my chicken cheek and the denture or between my lip and the denture. It used to drive me insane. And I just had to decide one day, I'm not going to stop eating every two seconds to rinse my mouth to get food out of my lip or out of my cheeks because as soon as I take another bite the food's going to go right back in there again. So I'm fighting a losing battle. So I decided pretty much eat my meal. If I get something under the bottom denture since I'm not using adhesive I can take a quick swish, swish it, a swig of whatever I'm drinking, swish underneath it, set it back down, finish my meal. And that's what I do. Had a little something under that corner. So that's it, friends. I hope you learned something. I don't know what today's lesson is about. Um, I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in my next video.